Greetings and welcome to my corner of the internet. I'm Fiarly and today we are playing Portal Stories Mel. Now, I don't really know too much about this aside from the fact that it is a free mod for Portal 2. Um, I, the brief description said something about there's a new personality core called Mel who discovers some sort of threat to Aperture Laboratories. So let's see what the hell this is all about. What do you got for me? Which, by the way, when I started it... Oh. Now, I still haven't played the Half-Life series yet, but I know that they started on a train. So... Is this going? Yeah, oh, okay. <clears throat> Greetings, astronaut, war hero, or Olympian. My name's Cave Johnson. And boy, do I have something to show you. You're here because you're the best the world has to offer. Yeah! I didn't say that lightly, mind you. So take that as one of the biggest compliments you'll ever get in your life. Even if you don't know who I am. <laughs> I know! In the beginning, I started a shower curtain company, making asbestos-laden shower curtains for the military. But I kept dreaming bigger and better. And you know what? That dreaming became doing. Lots of doing. Which brought you here. You're riding into the little Michigan town of... Uh... Wait, wait. Where are we again? Oh. Okay, so, this town doesn't have a name yet, as we're the ones who built it, but that doesn't matter. Okay. Point is, you're riding there, and you'll soon be at Aperture Science Innovators. We're yes. still getting some of this stuff together, but there's a lot of science we can do in the meantime. You've been selected from a large group of candidates for a special test in our temporary testing areas. When the train arrives at the station, head into the town and into the Aperture building. Don't worry, you'll know where it is. You'll get some more pre-recorded messages once you're there. Now, get ready to do some science! Yeah! For now, though, we're gonna put on some nice music for you. Oh, okay. Enjoy the ride. So, yeah, this is, uh, obviously said in 1952. But that was the chapter title, so I don't know, there may be... I don't know what that music is. Uh, there may be other years in this story. I don't know exactly how that's going to work. Ah, the testing area. All right. You're now arriving at Aperture Central Station. <clears throat> Wait. Chris, get over here. How do you spell station? Okay. Think about that for a second. Okay. Does station have an extra O before the I? All right, listen to me. Back your things. Because you're fired! Get out of my office. Out. Get out. Out of my office. <clears throat> oh, I can't re-record this. <clears throat> oh, that was great. That was good. Ah, here's the end of the line. Okay. Okay. Now, give me a second. I realized... Oh, shit. Okay, before any more talking starts, I realized that I didn't have subtitles on, so I'm gonna do that real quick. Okay, that should be better. I hope. Now, alright, good. Jumping. Crouching. Still no ability to run. It seems like I'm just on auto run all the time. Okay, well, let's see. What now, do we. As I said before, there's a lot we're still working on. Just watch your step on the way out, and as a reminder, Aperture Science Innovators is not responsible for any injury you sustain. Up to and including death by exposure to cosmic ray spallation. Don't worry, though. No. We haven't had an accident like that in three days. Uh, <clears throat> sorry. Make that three minutes. Okay, then. That's a pretty good impersonation of the Cave Johnson voice. Oh, a person. Hi. Can I talk to you? Are you, are you... Well... You're certainly involved in your work, or... No, you're on your phone. You're looking down at your lap. You're on your phone. Better watch out. Cave Johnson will fire your ass. As he should. I really don't know what to expect from this. I don't know if we're gonna get a portal gun, or... Not. Superconductor test. Repulsion. Ooh. Science spheres. Oh, those thingies! 
Okay. Whee. Here at Aperture Science Innovators, we love to give back to the community. So, instead of just giving back, we made our own community. Entirely made out of Aperture Science malleable concrete on top of the salt mines. And that's exactly why you shouldn't touch the walls or stomp your feet either. <clears throat> Last thing we need is to touch up a dent in the wall because someone was too hands on. Wow, this looks really cool. And so if it's all that cement, does that mean... Can I go in here? No, oh, okay, I can't go in there. Darn. I wonder if that means that every surface is, uh, portalable. If I get the portal gun. I don't even know if I get the portal gun or not. Established 1947. I wonder if that's true. And also, I'm sure, of course, that this is not considered canon within the, uh... Half-Life and Portal universes. But it, it's still cool to see what kind of things people can come up with. And, you know, the fact that it's free certainly helps. Oh, you have to you do have to own Portal 2, even though it is <laughs> I told you it was easy to find. You found it faster than uh, any test subjects on record. <clears throat> uh, that's not good. <clears throat> Just head through the door on the right to the elevator. You all know where to go. Okay. Why is it not good that I found it faster than anything else? Why are there people around? I mean, I guess it makes sense. The only reason that they weren't there before is because GLaDOS poisoned all of them. Your guide to our representative for today is... Ah, so that's GLaDOS. Darn. <laughs> Thing of an interest here. Fifty Shades of Cave. <laughs> so that's why Carolyn liked him. Okay then, alright. Local entrepreneur by Salt Mine. Okay. Astronauts, war heroes, Olympians. Okay. Do I go that way or do I go this way? Well, I can't go that way. Okay. Looks like this is the only... So, at first, I wanted to put in a long flight of stairs that spiraled down through the old salt mines down here. Give the test subjects a great view of the place. But no! The zoning boards on my bean counters said that's why they invented elevators. So, when someone in a wheelchair threatened to sue, my former boys chicken out of me and built this elevator to go to our temporary offices. I'm still working on those stairs, and those guys are working on getting new jobs. <laughs> Seriously, all the stairs are ready, so get on that stupid elevator. <laughs> oh, Cave Johnson, you're a hoot. That's a that's a pretty good uh, approximation of the Cave Johnson voice. You know, you got to give credit to whoever that voice actor is. That's that's a really good job. Very well done. Pretty convincing. Well, that's a bit louder than I thought it would be. Does it? Oh, okay. Here at Aperture, we're always trying to push the boundaries of science that little bit more. That's why we're taking on this new project. When the bean counters told me not to buy a salt mine with all this science, the first thing they said was, No! There's too much space! You can't suspend something over nothing and pray that a test can happen in thin air! Well, thanks to some use of the old calculator between the ears and a generous helping of the You're Fired stamp, I came up with a final solution to that. If you can't anchor something in thin air, why bother trying to make it in the air in the first place? I came up with this. With what? With what? Introducing oh. the Aperture Science Innovator's Suspended Testing Sphere. Each sphere is suspended in the air, anchored to the walls by concrete and steel lattice rebar. They seem like they float in the air, but in fact, they don't. Plus, we can keep building above them, onward and upward. This salt mine here can take at least 10 of these bad boys per shaft. Nine shafts, 90 tests. We can test whatever we want to and beat that other company into the ground. Black Mason. Those guys can kiss when I... Anyway, the bean counters cried like babies when they saw the cost of these things, but they wet their pants when they threw them out the door. I pay the bills, I make the decisions around here, and I hire and fire as I please. <clears throat> now, the first of these spheres won't be ready for a few more months, so you'll be participating in one of our smaller tests, the Aperture Science Innovator's Short-Term Relaxation Vault. 
Okay, then. I wanted to go in the spheres! I like how they took the, uh, stuff that was actually in Portal 2 and created story for it. I wonder how much they pulled from Portal 1, because there obviously wasn't as much to go on from that. There's a lot more story- oh. That's... I remember that place. When you get to the offices, I'll tell you a bit more. This test should be real easy for you, though. Just get inside one of the Aperture Science Innovator's short-term relaxation vaults and lie in a bed. You'll feel yourself fall asleep quickly. Don't worry, though. Our science boys will get you out shortly. You'll only be out for a few minutes. Uh, an hour, at most, if something goes wrong. <clears throat> Don't worry. We've got everything under control. You'll be making science, and you won't have to do a thing. Who's the winner here? You are. Me! Now I'm guessing, just because of the way the chapter was titled, I'm gonna get in there, I'm gonna fall asleep, and I'm gonna wake up sometime later, and that is uh, when the next chapter will start in however many years it is that I fall asleep. I'm guessing, I don't know. I'm also wondering where Mel comes in. Like, so, oh. as I said on the last pre-recorded message, you'll be heading into an Aperture Science Innovator's short-term relaxation vault for a quick, deep sleep. And then you're done. That's why we brought you here at night. You're most likely a walking zombie. That'll give us the best results. But just remember, don't sleep too long. This isn't a bed and breakfast. And if you decide to stay the night, I'm charging you rent for the next year. We'll have a bed ready for you. Just follow the testing area signs and go to bed. Don't mind the turrets. They're firing blanks. At least that's what Crazy Harry told me. <clears throat> Had six signs, boys, disappear because of him. Alright. Ooh, is this regular water? Oh. So, the water apparently kills you, which doesn't make any sense. I, mean, I guess maybe I just can't swim. Not sure which... I know I said to follow the... Ah, there's the signs that say the science testing area is ahead. Danger! Is it... I guess it's just poisonous water or something. Toxic water because of all the chemicals they're using and all that jazz. But why would they have it right there with the pier on it and everything? That just doesn't make any sense. I know the sign says to go in there, but I'm gonna explore. Uh, this person, uh, they went through the trouble to make this place, so I'm going to look around it and enjoy it. Why would the boss just be sitting up there like that? That's rather silly. Aw, oh, the toilets are out of service. Darn. Okay, then. I'm guessing that this is going to be closed, too. Oh, that's not closed. Well... There's the repulsion, or the uh, portal surface. I guess this one's just in the process of being built, maybe? And I saw those food things on the, uh, on the thing in there. I didn't look at it, the food, food signage. But I'm guessing that, uh, that's a reference to how repulsion gel was initially created. Something about the digestive tract. I don't remember exactly what they were trying to do with it. Well, that's not a safe place to block the door. See, it even says fire door, do not block. Ah, oh, man, I tell you. Cape Johnson, you are just, you really need to uh, keep better control of your employees here. They are just running amok without your constant supervision. All right, okay. U.S. Department of Defense Contractor of the Year, runner-up. <laughs> Don't worry, those toys won't kill you. The safety on their guns is on. Had some lab boys shut them down. Crazy Harry lights me. Okay, then. Wait for attendant. Nope. Oh. Oh, that's like the old version of one of those rooms. Like, the kind that I woke up in in um, the beginning of the first Portal game. 
And I found myself in again in the second Portal game, which ended up bringing me to GLaDOS, and then I can't remember if it also brought me to Wheatley. I don't think it did. No, it did not. No, it did not. Well, then. If you're hearing this message, you're at the saving chamber. Carolyn, is the test ready? Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson. Then you're good to go. Step into the chamber and get into the bed. Our lab boys will take care of the rest. That sounded just like her, but they may have just ripped the audio files from Portal 2. I'm not entirely sure. And this one does not, I mean, it has a nice great picture of Cave Johnson that I could look at and idolize whilst I sleep, but it does not have a toilet, like some of the other ones. Oh. Wow. Really, a cutscene. It's a nice, lovely shade of red that I have painted on my nails. Okay, then. Well. How long am I going to be asleep? I'm going to guess... I'm going to guess six years. So it'll be 1960 when I wake up. That's my guess. Probably going to be wrong. Yeah. Uh -huh.